guys hope you guys are doing great i hope you guys are doing good so welcome to another video um today i want to speak shortly about other um ways you can make it into medicine but before i get into that i'd like to say that today i have some bad news right there is something that i received something that i heard about i've been hearing about for some time now but i'm going to share that towards the end of the video so this is going to be in addition to the first video i've made uh, regarding making it into medicine right so there's another option that i've been trying to ask more about and learn about and this is doing medicine in cuba right so um this is an opportunity a lot of us wanted right we just didn't know much about it at the time we only found out about it properly while we were already when we were already in medicine right so to study medicine in cuba basically you almost have to take a gap year right so let's say if you're doing matric now you have to apply uh for going to cuba the following year towards the end of the year towards of november right so i like that opportunity because now it gives you time to apply both here and if it doesn't work <clears throat> applying for medicine in south africa you can have time right to still continue and apply to cuba next year towards the end of the year right so how you do it is that you must go to the department of health close to where you are learning you must provide them with your metric results so there is a criteria to make it but when it comes to medicine people don't really look at the criteria that much they'll start accepting people from the highest uh, average growing up right so i'd say that during your metric years make sure that you score as high as you can right make sure that you get a very high mark for your final exams for your subjects to increase the chances that you to increase the, the chances that they take you uh, to go to medicine in Cuba, right? So the first year will go, so we have to take a gap year. So you're doing grade 12, let's say you're, you're doing grade 12 this year, 2024. It's like you want to take a gap year, 2025, and then you only want to start 2026, right? So I learned that it's a total of six years in Cuba. So what you do is you're going to first uh, learn Spanish, um, during that first year, right? You're gonna do Spanish for the first year, and then for the next five years, you're gonna be doing medicine, right? And then after you spent a total of six years in Cuba, you have to come back to South Africa, I think to the university of your choice, and you have to do two extra more years. So all in all, it's gonna be eight years of studying plus the one year that is sort of like a gap year. So <clears throat> what I saw as advantages for me is that what I realized with students from Cuba is that financially they're sorted, right? So you won't have to worry about fees. You won't have to worry about NS fast and things of that nature. So financially you're going to be sorted. Number two, you're going to get to leave the country. Like I said, um, Cuba is one, is one opportunity a lot of us as medical students wanted. So I do believe that you're going to get there and get to experience new things. You're going to get to learn Spanish. You're going to see it whole different country it's a great opportunity to go out of the country and see the world um for some of the disadvantage is that it's it's long right it, it is very long um but i wouldn't really be phased about that because there are a lot of us who end up taking a long route anyway to get this medical degree right so at the end of the day if this is really what you want to do i'd say take the, the long route get funded stay focused and get your degree man a lot of you know there are not a lot of people that i know who came from there but there are people who i know who have been watching them taking their oath taking at the end of the year who are coming from cuba and they were able to survive for all those years so i do believe that it might be long but you 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 could be very much capable of doing this degree so you can take it uh another disadvantage i find this is a disadvantage if you have to come back and work in South Africa as a doctor. So I'm not sure if you study in Cuba, you are able to stay there, I doubt. Because now if you've studied medicine in Spanish, and you have to come back to South Africa, where we do medicine in English, I do feel like it could be a bit tricky. Could be a bit tricky. I don't know how you could quickly um, cover that. 
I don't know how they do it. I think that's one of the things I must actually look into. Right, I'm gonna do that actually. I'm gonna look into that more. But having done medicine in Spanish and had to come back into clinical years, some of the best universities in the country to do the final years of medicine in English in a language you haven't been doing, I'm sure it might be must be pretty hard. I really have to find that out. And yeah, just just give me an idea how they do it. I'm gonna find that out about I'm gonna find more about that and I'm gonna come back. So thirdly, what they say that is a disadvantage is that they don't really focus on TB and HIV, right? So those are kind of big in South Africa, right? So when you're a doctor in South Africa, you are expected to know quite well about TB and HIV. But I feel like the two years that they have when they come back the side, they can pretty much learn uh, all they would need to learn or to have known by the time they're intern doctors. So this is another idea, um, should there be any questions, should there be anything maybe I'm missing, uh, you people could let me know. So it's time for the bad news. So this is bad news, man. This is, this is very bad news for a lot of people. So uh, we just learned that in the University of Pretoria, they have cancelled uh, media transfers. So this is bad news because, wow, this is very bad news because now media transfer allowed a lot of us who didn't have what it took straight from high school to make it into medicine quicker, right? I look back and I think about everyone I've, everyone I've um, interviewed in this channel. You go back, uh, my first video, I, I, I did a media transfer from BSc into medicine you go to Nzaulu she did the same thing from another degree you go to Uvo you go to Uhebi you go to Torahano you go to so everyone I've spoken about I've spoken with in this channel literally are in these degrees because of media transfer right so this means that to make it into medicine you must either make it with a strong mark Right, with strong marks from grade 12 or you must take another degree and try to finish off that degree and then when you finish with that degree come back then and apply to to medicine so it's either you get um, grade marks in high school or you get grade marks in um, in another degree in varsity so why i think this is the case i really do think that they are trying to cut down a number of medical students that are being produced on a daily basis i i this this is just me thinking this is just my thoughts it's not the truth you don't have to fake check me this is just me having my own assumptions having my own thoughts i think that universities are producing too many medical students at the moment and they're trying to cut that down. I was looking at a picture, I think at the class of 2013, and I noticed how few the class of 2013 when it comes to medicine, how small they are, they were compared to the class of 2023, right? And we have the crisis uh, in South Africa now, the growing crisis of unemployed doctors. I'm gonna talk about that uh, next. So I really do think they're trying to tone down or cut down the number of medical students being produced um, every year because this in effect it means that less and less applications to to medicine will be received on a yearly basis right effectively cutting down the number of people who will be applicable or be capable to apply so this is really bad news so this is this means that it's gonna take me to one of the other videos right up I, I really wanted to do especially in the beginning of the year until i got wrapped up into course and course was dealing with me so the video i'm going to be doing next or oh, i don't know when but when i release it release it soon is i'm going to share my ways to excel in mathematics and physical sciences Right, this is to help learners who are still in high school to try and get 
get a greater mark when it comes to these two subjects now these are the only two subjects <clears throat> i can help with because these are the two subjects that i've worked with uh for a number of years so that is going to be my next video so if anything comes up with anything related to medicine i'll be releasing more videos with regards to that thank you for watching this video i hope you're gonna like share and subscribe thank you